Welcome guys, this is um, the first time in a long time, well not the first time, where I am actually going to attempt to do um, a couple of tarot star signs a day. And I'm going to do two, but I've got an idea. Draw out of the hat, out of the cup, the star signs, and that's how I will channel spirit through to, you know, make it fair. Um, also, with the energy, I'm going to activate the sign uh, of energy, bring balance, bring um, some good connection with spirit by doing that. It's a lovely sound, isn't it? I have my tarot card pack and we're ready to go. I don't need no um, guide or book with this wisdom tarot that I have. They're a beautiful pack. I've already shuffled them for um, that particular situation already because I've already uh, drawn out of the cup already the first one. And the first one, as I open up, um, we are going to start our reading. I'm ready, raring to go. And from the top of the pack, we have Gemini. So, out of the 12 star signs for the year, Gemini comes out, and this is what we've got. The first card that comes out for us is... Falling in love, or the re resurgence of a romantic relationship, forgiveness and the ending of challenges, exchanging gifts, don't give up on people you love. Now... In this particular situation, I feel for you, Gemini, you are going through a tough connection with the person that you're with. Um, this has gone on for some time now, for a few months, and maybe into a few years. But what I am getting from um, this energy is that we cannot give up on the other person. But what I am seeing at the moment is the other person is willing to really try... Um, and it's not about the trying, but it is more about them accepting that they cannot, you, they cannot continue to go on like this, putting you in this position um, of late in this relationship. It is weighing you down. It is making you tired. It is causing emotional distress. It is stopping you and enabling you from um, being able to focus on your work and get all the normal things done in your reality, in your circle. But this is a chance to accept that at the moment you are getting some luck. This other person will come out of their little um, funk that they're going through. And I do see some positive change there for um, you, Gemini. The beautiful energy that forgives, that doesn't hold grudges. But you can't forget... But what you can do is work with that other person to offer your love, to offer your support, to offer your strength, to offer your kind words of wisdom and also your inspirational talent. And not only that, we're looking at your gifts naturally as a person. You are kind, caring and considerate to those around you in your circle. Those that are not appreciative of it, I would say this month, we're looking at you dealing with them accordingly and not giving up on the challenge of people who want to block you in the way. So looking at this card, we have a, a cherub, an angel, child above. We've got the symbol of a child above, which means the very children in your life as a unity with a couple. It is both of your responsibility to take care of children to what you do and what you say is also a very um, valid in this situation, very um, important because they're going to follow what you do and say. It, they will follow the lead in this journey and they're already doing that anyway. That's what I'm getting from the energy for you. As we draw the other card, it links in again, mermaids. Meeting a person who is connected to mermaids may also be a significance in this journey. Awakening to new things. The cup of salvation. The cup of um, wisdom. And you're going to drink from that cup, I feel, Gemini. So that you can feel the goodness and the vibrations of what spirit want you to do. It's not about just what spirit want you to do. It's about what you want to do as well. You've already mapped out within your own heart, within your own heart chakra, and 
to get on with things that you need to, to better the world, to better the people, but most importantly, nurture yourself to love who you are, to be in a position where you need to understand taking time out for you is vitally important at this stage, because if you don't, you're going to burn yourself out. And you're like that. You're tough. You're a fighter. Regardless, you will make sure that people are okay around you. And when they're, you're not, when they're not okay, you get concerned. And when you get concerned, you become emotional at times. Seeing this beautiful and new emotional experience that you're having, you're getting that emotional experience from either partner, at the same time friendships, at the same time colleagues, at the same time you're seeing your children grow into new and wonderful things that they're experiences. So you're going to have a new conversation with children. You're going to realize that they're never going to stay the same, but you're going to grow into an old soul, grow old to see them grow up and change as you walk the journey with them. A deep friendship involves connecting with someone, a romantic one. I want to say at this time, Gemini should hold on to the current relationship so that the romantic relationship continues on the journey um, and grows and heals from the various conflict and conflictual pain and suffering that it has gone through. Because you have to go through pain and suffering and, confl- and confliction or infliction. Um, in order to grow and learn. But it's up to the other person. It's also up to you to bring balance to this situation. Don't hold back. Make sure that you stay strong and have that inspiring energy that you always had. But when you're feeling down and low, that other person and other friends and very much uh, colleagues must recognise that when you don't want to be there as that full-on strength it's for one reason because you need to go and rest and you may be broken or feel um upset by someone else's energy at the time so people need to respect your privacy when you say no when you say not right now when you say i need to be on my own then that is what you need to do a little bit of um reflecting within yourself Meditation is good for this time. I think meditating on friendships, meditating on romantic, uh, the romantic relationship that can be, for those that Geminis at the moment that haven't got that, you can work towards that. And those Geminis that have it right now, you, it's being able to hold on to it with both hands, cup it up to your heart and say, no, I'm going to nurture it. I've learned the lessons of the past from other experiences with people or an ex- previous um, experience with the person that you're with and now we're looking to move all full steam ahead with a loving, caring, committed relationship. Awakening, it says here, with the psychic abilities to open up to new possibilities. Whatever your gifts are right now, that strong, amazing energy is already there. But there are always going to be other things we haven't opened up. We're never going to be unlocking the infinite knowledge and infinite gifts and skills of spirituality. They are there for the taking, for you to embark on, to embrace. You grab onto it, you're going to take flight. You really are. Spiritual insights such as seeing something that is very significant to your current relationship and the problems that it is that is deepened within those problems need to be brought up to the surface addressed the spiritual abilities and awakenings and insights that you have are going to be the key and the answer to helping you move forward with that other person it's about healing each other learning from one another but how can you do that if the other person is not giving back the same amount of love the same amount of respect There's only so much that you can handle. Gemini, you could get tired, but you're not going to get tired right now. You're willing to push full steam ahead and see this to the very end um, with a succeeded goal. Okay? 
a love letter comes into mind. I don't find Gemini, you're that the one to really put a letter, a, words to paper when it comes to emotions. I feel like you're there as a person to express those emotions bluntly and plainly to the other person. No messing about, no joshing around. The word joshing around means no cut. you know, you're not cutting corners or, or you're not taking the long road. You're just saying it as it is, saying what you want to feel and then that's it. You could draw back a bit, work on things. You're not someone to rush it, but if you rush things with someone, you're forcing them to get well or to work on their own mind. And fortunately, you've got to go at a good pace. It doesn't happen with a click of a thumb, but it will be good for you there. The cup is also ideas and the opportunity to bring out those ideas and have a prosperous journey in business or a prosperous journey in career. Things will be looking up in the long run. Money will be coming your way. It is a possibility that we could feel like we can't motivate ourselves to do it some days because of our situation in a relationship, but we don't give up. We say to ourselves on a morning, on a daily basis, on a morning, that we cannot give up. Taking a pause as I connect the spirit, we go into this inspiring and motivational um, experience that you're going through. Ambitions, taking a leadership as it says in the card. Um, you've got to take a leadership in business, but you're also taking a leadership in your family life as well. Always there for, as a parent for those that need you, being able to have effective and working um, results from ideas in your mind. Having this uh, possibility to do the public speaking and motivational, inspiring for people who are struggling in situations, this is also going to be good for you. Whether we're in a working environment, it doesn't have to be spiritual. This could also be just a very... Um, big thing about motivational or public speaking it's involved in our job in general perhaps we want to take something uh, and you know take that passion and make it grow even further whether it be for community or whether it be for spiritual or religious purposes I'm not sure right now what it is it could be all three but I'm more leaning to the working uh, part of it whether it be spiritual or an office environment uh, that you're working in right now, working with the public or community, it involves really pushing forward with a strong voice. And you've had that for a while, Gemini. Now the chance is to put it to good use to help shape the world and the community. We don't want to be standing too proud or egotistical, but that isn't you anyway. So we're going to push that out the window. But it could be for other star signs. And I'm not going to be afraid to be blunt about it and say that to people. Um, about prideness and egotistical behaviour can cause problems. But that is a throne that you're sat on and you've worked hard to get there. Don't allow people to undermine or stop you from being in that rightful place of hard work and proud energy for family and yourself. It's as you're involving people in the circle. Again... If we're a woman or a man, look how wonderful that came out in the pack. The two thrones. We have everything that you need to accomplish is an indication for this card of being together and falling, you know, falling together, picking each other up, making the business work making a family life work for the sake of the children's future and their present moment, the current, healing from the past has already occurred, but the current moment is important, present, what we do and what we say together, and planning for the future. This is an indication from this, that both thrones, man and woman, are, or woman and woman, man and man, whoever is, one, one has got to be the other, they're both on a throne working in 
their own spiritual path to make things work through leadership. But as the female queen in the throne shows independence and brilliance in their talented side to help people, um, there is a sort of control inside to you there, Gemini. You need, this represents both Gemini, but also could represent the opposite of the you um, in the star Stein spectrum of your partner possibly being, um, if we need to fall this for somebody who is a Taurus or a Sagittarius, um, controlling somebody isn't right, a Gemini won't put up with it. They just will not. I'm only drawing a uh, couple more cards now as we move on. Those two came out at the same time. As I see, um, as I mentioned, a Sagittarius um, star sign with Gemini, it could be a very toxic situation from time to time through differences, but it works. We could see man on the horse or woman on the horse taking their journey to the highest with their strength and their, their not looking back. You know, the horse tells you everything about the strength but it is also the person that's riding the horse that makes a bit of difference. Knowing where we're going in destination, it is very, very important. Passionate, confident, charismatic, restless, events requiring immediate action. Trust your instincts, stay focused and passionate relationship. You gotta trust your instincts. Doubting yourself, maybe because you have insecurities of the past or those insecurities have come in because of the current relationship. We must look to see what good is in the relationship at present, really. If there isn't enough, then we need to change this situation. Um, a situation needs action where we need to change it then. Or if we can't save a relationship, we're going to let it go. But I can't see that happening right now with this card. All I can see is that we're looking to save it by giving that other person the support and encouragement and the chance and you're going to get that back from the other person no matter how different your mind is, their mind is to you, Gemini. You're going to get success from both sides. The last one for you, Gemini, as I go into a second reading for the week for um, the the draw out for the next star sign and then I'll work on another two tomorrow um, we've got the lizard or the reptilian behind reptiles would they indicate goodness they could also indicate a sly person behind you know I, I kind of don't feel as if this companion alongside you is fully uh, truthful in their situation but they need to get it together because you feel truth is a big thing here. There's impatience involved here for you as well, Gemini. You want to get things done quickly and smoothly, but it needs to be done well. If the other person or people around you are not doing a good job, you can get a little bit restless and impatient because it shouldn't mean you having to do everything on your own. You know... It should mean support in the circle of people that you have around you. And if you're not getting that, then that also that immediate action in a situation needs to be changed for a better situation. We cannot wait. That's one thing to not be impatient with. But maybe draw back a little bit from time to time. Don't be too bullet a gate with this situation. It could just take flight when you least expect it in the next three weeks of this month. New exciting opportunities business-wise, I'm feeling. You're going to allow your creative energy to soar, you know, and fly into destination. It is up to you how you control your horse. It's up to you how you, which direction it's taking, which way you're controlling the, this reptilian creature that flies. You're going to do a lot of things, as it says in the card, that will fuel your passion. But again, energy could be brought down because of what other people are doing with their selfish ways. Whatever you started, finish it and then move on to the next. So, I'm going to leave it there.
for Gemini. Um, and I will move on to the next uh, star sign as I go in the next um, reading with another video. Um, I hope you fully enjoy this, Gemini. Um, this is just a, a taster of what's to come. But those are the cards that we've got. And I'm going to put them out in order. So we started with the companionship and the lovers together. Then we moved on to, and then we talked about the cherub with children being important. And again, mermaids and that ocean and water involved with emotion right now. But it is there as a protection, the cup of life, knowledge, wisdom, gaining knowledge right now. Then we have the male figure. If you're a male Gemini or female, you know, you, you could take, females can take the masculine side because they have that, that masculine energy to work with as well. People work with whatever they want to. It doesn't have to be the feminine. And then we've got females uh, on the throne as well, both sides. So that's bringing equal uh, leadership and balance and success, working hard to get there. And then we have the person on the horse taking their destination to get into their destination to the fullest and then we end with the cards for taking flight again it's up to you as a person to sail the ship fly the bird or the, the ride the horse to the, its destination it will be rocky and it will be rough winds if you're flying to your destination. Or if you're riding, it could be tough on ground when you're riding. But those situations in life will be tough at, from time to time. But that is life, isn't it? So, Gemini, thank you so much for uh, roaming in. But anybody else, if you're not Gemini, you're going to benefit from listening. If you have a Gemini partner, if there's people around you that are Gemini, there's all types of different situations as to why we would link in to a Gemini, even if we're not that star sign. So many blessings, guys. That's Gemini done. And the draw of the hat will be on a daily or weekly basis. I haven't decided yet. But when it's on, catch me on YouTube. And, it, you know, it isn't one to be missed. Many blessings.